Who am I here with today? You are with Mr. Klipstein. All right, Mr. Klipstein, what is the weirdest thing in your desk? In my desk? I don't really have weird stuff in my desk. Um, there's an old bag of Halloween candy. Oh, actually, what about that school picture? And a blanket for when it gets cold in my classroom. <laughs> And uh, sneakers for when I go on walks after school. I guess I have a lot of weird stuff in my desk. <laughs> um, so yeah, quite a bit of weird stuff. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Who am I here with? Uh, Mr. John. How are we doing today? We're doing. Yeah. What is the weirdest object in your desk? Uh, I have a high heel shoe tape dispenser. Oh, you smile. I like that. <laughs> Back here on the Bulldog Beat, I'm with Miss Gavis. You are looking very excellent today. Well, thank you, Lennon. I have a great question for you today. What's that? What is the weirdest object in your desk? The weirdest object in my desk. We guess it's probably it. Candles. Birthday candles. Birthday candles. Oops, and they're dropping. Birthday candles. So if anybody needs a birthday candy, candle, not candy, here it is. Thank you. I guys. got them. Thank you guys. Thank you, Mrs. Davis. You're welcome. Who am I here with today? Mr. Derek Winnie? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, Derek Winnie. Uh, yes, what's the weirdest thing in your uh, desk? The weirdest thing in my desk. Yeah. Oh lord. Um. Oh! Yo yo! Here, hey, let's see it. Hold that look. See if I still got the skills here. See if I can walk the dog. It's been a while. Wow. Thank you. Who am I here with today? Officer Miller. All right, Officer Miller, what's the weirdest thing in your desk? Weirdest thing in my desk. You didn't see that, did you? <laughs> Bro! <laughs> <laughs> you found it. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Yeah. Hello folks, today I regret to inform you that this year's Messiah will be the very last Messiah. You may have heard the rumors around school or have seen Mr. Tristle's post on Facebook, but it's true, this year will be the very last Messiah. While you aren't required to join and sing, it would be much appreciated. Or you could at least go see the showing on December 12th at 6 p.m. If you would like to join and sing along, the first rehearsal is on November 5th at 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Thank you very much. Who am I here with? It's Elon. And the movie quote is, Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I don't know. Incorrect. Nemo. Uh, Who am I here with? Bryce Seibert. Okay, and then what movie is this quote from? May the odds ever be in your favor. I have zero idea. Wrong. <laughs> the Hunger Games. Who am I here with? Luke Maxwell. And 
You, the quote is, I am Iron Man. Iron Man. Correct. Who am I here with? Kayla Adams. Okay, and then what movie is this quote from? With great power comes great responsibility. You don't know that? No, give me a better one. <laughs> no, you have to guess. Just guess. It's a, I don't know, like Saul Goodman or something. No, Better Call Saul. Spider-Man. <laughs> Who am I here with? Aaron Krugman. And what movie is this quote from? I am Groot. First of, um... Guardians of the Galaxy. Correct. Who am I here with? Brooke. Okay, and what quote is this movie from? That is so fetch. Mean Girls? <laughs> yeah. Who am I here with? Mrs. Berkey. And what movie is this quote from? May the Force be with you. Star Wars. Correct. Thank you. Who am I here with? Bailey. Okay, and what movie is this? What quote is this movie from? You got a friend in me. Toy Story. Toto, I've been feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Um, Spider-Man. No. Today we are in the teacher parking lot. We are going to rate how the teachers park their cars. So, yeah. She did a pretty good job, so I'd rate her about like a 8 out of 10 or so. Alright, so they look over on the line, so I'm gonna give it like a 6.5. Whoever's car this is, they parked very good actually. It's even on both sides, it looks good. Okay. Now we are in the student parking lot, the side big one. Now we're gonna rate the parking of the student. This is Emma's car, and I will rate it 5.4, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so whoever's car this is needs to do a lot better of a job. They're in the grass, so I'm going to give this like a 3 out of 10. <laughs> the truck is not that bad until you look at the front, and the front tires over the line and in the grass. The car is, it's really pretty, but work on your parking, it's on the line. Okay. Overall, I don't think the parking was too bad, do you? No, I don't think so. There was only a couple bad ones. I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted some entertainment, but it's okay. What was your favorite cakes today? I like actually all of them. My favorite was... Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead, yeah. Yes. But I will tell you that this is the third year that I've done taste testing, and I think these were by far the best cakes ever. Good job, everyone. I agree. I loved them all. I think it's very, very difficult to pick. But I must admit, I am a big fan of white cake with white icing. And so I had the Adams Family. That one was delicious. And then also the, what did I say it was? The gingerbread. Now, I didn't love the gingerbread on top, but the actual cupcake with the icing was the best. It I agree with Mrs. Davenport. Uh, how'd you like the cake set? I thought they did a good job of decorating. Which one's your favorite? Which one was my favorite? One, well, I basically I tried two, and I tried the, I believe it was St. Patrick's, and he had mint icing with his chocolate cake, and it was very good. Very nice. I liked it a lot. I'm here with? Uh, Amy Sutter. <laughs> okay, which display was your favorite? Uh, b believe it or not, I had a hard time choosing. I really did. I think they were all really well thought out, but I chose the gingerbread oven looking thing with the lights. I thought that was really clever. Okay. Here yeah, with Mrs. Vader. And how did you like the cakes? They were delicious. Um, I loved the one that had the skeletons all decorated and colored. The visual of that was awesome, and the taste of the scream ones. I'm here with Mrs. Craft. How are the cakes? Delicious. They're so good. Whose was your favorite? Okay, so should I tell you who I voted for? Sure. I will spill who I voted for. So I voted for Valentine's Day. I really liked theirs because one, chocolate covered strawberries are my favorite thing in the entire world. I also really like Valentine's Day and there's also Lindor chocolates. Like they were going for it all. I also voted for Chinese New Year. I thought they were super creative. I liked how they had those lights on their display and they have a good like ganache filling. I tasted it in the 4K course. And the other one I voted for 
was the gingerbread. What was your favorite cake look-wise? Uh, the display I liked was the Christmas one with the fireplace. Carter Altsetter. I'm Braylon Gavis. I'm Logan Billerman. And, and this, this is, is the Bleacher, Bleacher Feature. Last Saturday, our girls soccer team took on Shawnee in the district final. Unfortunately, they came up short 2-1 to one in overtime, but still got a trophy. Congratulations on a good season, ladies. On Thursday, the boys soccer team traveled to Elida to take on St. Mary's. And unfortunately, they lost 1-0. Congrats on the historic season, boys. Our cross country team is running into state, and here's Coach Andrews to tell us more about that. Can you tell us about your cross country team? They run. Okay, so what is special about your cross country team? They're going to state. Oh, really? Yes, they are the first team in, or boys cross country team in school history to ever make it to state. That's really cool. It's like 54 years, something like that. And you also have a female runner going to state? We do, yes. Jenna Lee Dameron, this is her second trip to state. So nice. two years in a row. It's pretty impressive for a sophomore. Yeah. Congratulations, Coach. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, gentlemen, and good luck, Jenna Lee. Last week, our mighty, mighty Bulldogs took on the Hillsboro Indians. We smacked them Indians down 49 to 7, bruh. My God, they. First round of the playoffs, fellas. Good work. Fist pumps. First round of the playoffs, 49 to 7. Good work, gentlemen. We're not done yet, though. Tonight, we play the Trotwood Madison Rams. We're going to smack them Rams down real bad. Bulldog versus Rams. I'm taking the Bulldogs all day long, fellas. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Be there or be square. There's a spirit bus, so there's no excuse not to be there. Hashtag beat the Rams, fellas. And this was another week of The Bleacher, Bleacher Feature. What's your Halloween costume going to be? Pumpkin spice. Oh, crap. It's going to be a very detailed zombie. I'm gonna be Lydia Deets from Hall from Beetlejuice. Yes! Play! I'm going to be Velma from Scooby Doo. Velma? Thank you, Zoink Scoob. I'm gonna be Princess Peach from Mario. This is gonna sound ironic, but like. <laughs> geez. This is gonna sound ironic, but uh, it was gonna be a prisoner. You're gonna be probably dead. Oh, I'm gonna be a race car driver. Room, room. Room, room. Are you ready for Halloween? Oh boy, am I. I love Halloween. What are you going to be for Halloween, Grace? Oh my gosh, I actually have no clue. I'm currently a uh, prisoner, but no clue. Enjoy. Enjoy. Would you like, I don't want the cookie. How's the pizza, Austin? <laughs> I haven't eaten any yet. Okay. Uh, but I did get a whole buffet. Are you ready for the parade? Yes. Woo. Because he'll be in it. Bye. My younger brother. It's very fun. Very exciting. New generation. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's another? Ooh, what's your favorite Halloween candy? Quick score, Kit Kat. I'd have to go with Twix or something sour and gummy. Jolie, 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 Jolie! Take my name.